with episode 19 of Berserk. I'm not going to waste your time or mine. We're jumping straight the fuck into this. By the way, I didn't miss this last episode. I should mention it every few episodes. The link to the video I'm reacting to is always going to be in the description below. So, let's go ahead and do this. We're going on one. Three, two, one. It's funny. If you look here, you see that title? Griffith did nothing wrong. See that? What do they mean by that? Are they talking about just burning all these people to death? Or are they talking about something he ain't, we ain't seen him do yet? Spoiling ass fucking titles, man. I'm just saying. Because I don't know yet if Griffin's done anything wrong. I ain't seen the whole thing yet. Spoiling ass. <laughs> we'll try, motherfucker. His name is Judo? Is that the little kid, the blind kid always be talking and shit? Is that his name, Judo? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell with certain art styles. They have characters look similar. <laughs> Good plan. I think he's got bigger things on his mind. Having that problem with Full Metal. Uh, no, um, Gravity Falls. I keep getting Gravity Falls where there'll be like literally spoiler titles and spoilers in the fucking titles. Yeah, you know, I didn't re realize until after the fact, fortunately. But I won't mention it here just in case you haven't seen Gravity Falls, but go check it out. Oh, I did that one time. One of the hateful comments I got that stuck with me. <laughs> I said something about you should watch Justified. If you've never seen watch Justified, you should watch it. And somebody in the comments like, Oh my God, this person's seen Justified. Let me subscribe right now and like all his videos. He's seen Justified. I'm like, motherfucker, that's not what I said. I mentioned a show in the past. I said it was a good show. You should check it out. That's it. I don't know why he was triggered by that. Like, it was such a baffling comment. Like, so much bile for what I actually said. I didn't go on a fucking 20-minute rant about it or anything. I might get dig it if I said it's, the show sucked. Then I see you being irritated. But why would you be irritated me saying the show is good? Weird, man. So, yeah, if you're mad about Gravity Falls, I just mentioned Gravity Falls, kiss my ass in advance. <laughs> I just I don't understand people. So this is a goodbye meal, huh? This is kind of cool. I like this. It's like a rap party where you have a meal with your all your actors and you know co-stars and shit before you all... Go go your separate ways. <laughs> you don't give a shit, man. <laughs> He's such a douchebag. What a person to have your last meal with. Weird. This is giving me all kinds of flashbacks. Maybe I'll remember to say one at the end. But I had a very specific flashback of one of these final meals you have as your actors. <laughs> I'm just in this for the rewards. Which, you know, fair enough. You're risking your life. You should the rewards should be pretty big, don't you think? Judo is looking at him like, dude, what the fuck? Look at Corcus. Don't be like Corcus. Thank you for permi your permission. I wasn't going to do what makes me happy until you gave me permission. Thank you so much. But I liked it. Hmm. Maybe he wants to do more with his life. Interesting. Hopefully he's been paid up, man. Like he has enough money to sustain himself.
He looks really badass standing on a hilltop. You can always tell somebody with ambition. It's attractive. People have ambition. <laughs> oh, yeah, too. I agree. Ambitious people are the most interesting to me. Never satisfied. He makes me sick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get what he, I, actually, I kind of do get where he's coming from now. I said I didn't last him, so I get this. I will be, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I did go, motherfucker. Childish bitching is what he said. The caption snitched him out. God damn your childish bitching. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Call me an ass again. Let's go outside so I can express myself better. <laughs> Cuss this motherfucker out. Unbelievable. Dude, chill. This motherfucker is on something, man. Listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, what the fuck, Corcus? Pretty much. Fuck dreams. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought I thought you were talking about coming across this tape. You say another word, I'll what? You'll what, motherfucker? Oh, yourself? Okay. Pretty slick, kid. He doesn't seem like the little kid I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? The, the little blonde one with hair like this. His voice is a little more mature. He must not be the one I'm thinking of. Fair enough. Not everybody can be the master. Some people have to be the minions. Yep. Let's get you the fuck out of here. Fight with somebody for three years like this, man. They form very strong bonds. They're all like brothers to each other. I've seen it with shipmates in the military, right? <laughs> yep. Right, yeah. That's what he's trying to do. There's Casca and Korska. And if I ever confuse those names, just know who I mean in each case. I'm into it. Because I'm not shipping them. I'm not shipping anybody in this show. This show ain't about that for me. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be competing with that shit, man. Unless it's a acknowledged pyramid, uh, three-way, what, what do they call it? I think it's called a pyramid. Triangle, something like that. If there's four, it's a square. I don't know. They, there's various shapes. But anyway, like if, unless it's acknowledged as all three of them, it's not going to work. Well, this is awkward. Hit. Hit. <laughs> this must be the one I mean. <laughs> this guy, he, he cracks me up. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, shit. I knew the camera was paying over for a reason. Let's everybody judge him. Okay, whatever. 
Why you got to phrase it like that? Yep, that's the squeaky voice I know. That's him. Tell me he don't look like a fucking judo, man. Come on. Look at him. Standing together, looking like brothers and shit. The only difference is the voice. <laughs> My squeaky voice. <laughs> Fuck off. He's up in his feelings, man. God damn, you can't tell the kid to shut up. Hey, you want your ass kicked or what? Good. Yeah, there's a certain amount of shit talking you can allow as you walk out, but then there's a certain amount you don't allow. Sometimes you got to educate. <laughs> we? You better say we, bitch. Because if you mean you, let's do this right now. Look for us up in their feelings. What, we ain't allowed to leave ever? Like, what the fuck? What is this, a night watch? Catch on the flip side. So I guess Griffin just dipped. He just said his one thing and then dipped, huh? Oh, shit, here he is. What, motherfucker? Oh, shit. Well, this is a twist. Yeah, that's a fucking commercial break right there, man. <laughs> man, I don't know about all this. <laughs> I don't know about all this, man. Please do. Come on, man. This is bullshit. This is like, this is like childish, man. I want to know about killing. Do we have to, is this to the death? Is that what you talk about? I'm hoping just for first blood, because this is stupid. Yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out of my way. Wasn't expecting this shit. See, this is what she did, though. She caused this by running to get this motherfucker. <laughs> Cuss her out. Every medieval mercenaries I've ever heard of was not for life. They were allowed to leave when they wanted to leave. You know? I guess some of them could have been slaves, I guess. But this isn't that. I mean, this is her fault. She went and got him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. This is bullshit. There's a certain symmetry to that. Or he's just an arrogant ass, you know, possessive. Good. I'm kind of on Griff. Or, no, I, I fucked it up. I think Griff. I'm, I'm rooting for Gus to win. I, th I thought she said Guts. But she said Griffin. Yeah. I'm hoping Guts beats his ass and walks out. About to get your ass beat. <laughs> See, he's possessive. That's what it's about. This ain't about wanting somebody to stay. Possessive ass. Oh, shit. It's like I said, possessive.
Well, let's do this, man. Let's dance. <laughs> Fuck your little sword, bitch ass. Oh, you didn't see it like that, did you? Now, nah, what's up, motherfucker? Am I leaving or not? My life is forfeit your motherfucking ass. Rich living has been making has made you soft. Made your sword weak. That's right, drop your shit. Yeah, you better get on your knees. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm out of here. Deuces. <laughs> Look at him, man. He can't fucking believe it. That's like me when the Colts lost the Super Bowl. I was like, <laughs> just fucking shell shocked, man. What the actual fuck? <laughs> so that's how you walk out of a fucking relationship, right there. Bounce. Hey, you coming with me or what? What's up, baby? Or is she going to have to fight Griffin, too, with this possessive ass? That's <laughs> so good, man. So good. Hey, man. He done said his goodbyes. Yeah, that was, like I said, me at the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's impossible. How the fuck did the Saints win this game? Yeah, that's a ticket. <laughs> this is why you don't draw a line in the sand unless you, you know. You don't draw a line in the sand over stupid shit, is my point. This was a stupid line in the sand. Thing is, like, if he was free to go, he would probably would have came back after a while, right? In fact, he even said that. He would go make his fortune or whatever, get successful, and then come back. Now he probably won't. Just any way you look at it, it's stupid. What's up, prize of one? <laughs> She's having a rough couple weeks, man. Although there was a, uh, a weather change, so it's probably been longer than that since her mom died. That's probably why they did the time jump, right? They did a time jump so that she would have had time to mourn her mom, and then we can get this romance started, right? He probably feels unworthy now, don't he? Never mind. No, he's, he's his ego's in check. His ego's intact. <laughs> Are you asking the smash? <laughs> Yeah, it's about to get wetter. What's up? <laughs> My chamber's wet too. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Hey, I had to get rid of all my enemies. And I got a lot of them. All these terrible things have happened. They're doing a lot with his eyes. You know, so... Oh, shit, man. Damn, dude. Straight for the kill. Like, no conversation or nothing. Didn't ask if she'd brush her teeth or what, you know? Damn, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. He ain't even trying to put a ring on it. Wait, so maybe I'm starting to understand the title of this YouTube video. Griffin did nothing wrong. Me thinks he did. Maybe the fact that that YouTube video is in quotes. Maybe they're being sarcastic when they say that. Yeah, we're getting a collection of broken swords. Broken swords all over the place. Maybe they can make a, a an opposite of the, the Iron Throne, where the Iron Throne is a bunch of swords. 
they can have a throne of broken swords for the losers, right? Oh, shit. She's about to tweet this shit out. Scandal. Hey, man. Why you peeping? How's a peeping, handmaiden? How's a peeping? This could be a whole different kind of handmaiden's tale right here. Did he stay or did he dip out? He stayed. I mean, you're a fool if you don't think there's a connection between this, what just happened, and Broken Sword incident, right? This motherfucker is up in his feelings, man. Better run away in shame. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. They're mad. <laughs> and him with no weapons. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for your mom. She told me to meet her here. <laughs> um, you know I got an entire expeditionary force, right? Any one of which could probably tear your ass up. Even that little kid could probably tear your ass up. Oh, shit. Uh, one time we was doing one of these rap dinners, right? And... Uh, It'd been a hard day of shooting. A hard, I think it was like three days shoot. And, you know, usually you let go actors and, you know, the crew stays intact for the most part until we're done, completely done shooting. But actors, when we're, they're wrapped, they usually leave, right? Sometimes it'd be like, well, we've got one more scene to shoot and then we're all going to go grab dinner somewhere. And we'll say, do you want to stay or do you want to go? A lot of times they'll stay, sometimes they'll go. Depends on how fat, bad they want to get home, right? I'm paying for dinner, of course. And so we did this one time and there was like 12 of us, um, but three actors and the rest of the crew and we're eating at this uh, Mexican restaurant and this guy ordered uh, one of the actors he ordered steak I think it was like a, it was a, a, like a steak fajita or something because you know Mexican restaurant it's going to be you know you can get steak or you can get chicken or you get shrimp or something but it's going to be prepared in certain ways that you wouldn't have in other restaurants right so it's, it's just different it's not like you're going to a steakhouse you're at a Mexican restaurant you order like a steak fajita or something, right? And he wants some A1 steak sauce. And I said, we don't have any of that there. And he got so fucking mad. And he was like obsessed with the fact that they didn't have any fucking A1 steak sauce when they serve steak. And I, I guess, I mean, you should probably have a bottle or two of that, I suppose. You know, these gringos coming in and ordering like, you know, whatever. You know, it's just like ketchup on lobster. <laughs> you know, that kind of scenario, right? But it's just, he was so unreasonably angry. It just kind of put a damper on the entire thing. We're all having fun. And, you know, and he was kind of in a corner of fortune. I tried to just tune him out and just focus on everybody else and have fun and stuff. But, like, we're, you know, we're trying to have fun. It's the end of a fucking long week of shooting and shit. And he could not let go of this fucking, you know, he's kind of, dude was kind of an asshole anyway, right? Could not let go of the fact that there was no steak sauce there. And it just put a damper on things, right? But that's, that motherfucker at the dinner earlier, it's like, look, man, I'm trying to leave. We're, we're having, a, like, one last nice meal that we can remember and cherish it in future times. And all he's doing is he's just bitching you out and shit. You're like, man. Now, I know he, he, he's an asshole. He's always been an asshole. He's that one person in the group that you always have at the office or whatever social group or in your family. There's always that one person who's a fucking asshole. That's this motherfucker. So he was being on brand. But, but that instantly reminded me of that shit. I was like, oh, yeah, I know this. I got this motherfucker's number. <laughs> 